In this episode of FMH, it's our first retro review of the new series. Josh? You know it, Jerry. And Z Marotrix gives us his review of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, on the Nintendo 64. This is the Fusion Media Hub. Kick it! You got there. Josh, I felt it appropriate to dig out my old N64 that I bought with my own money when I was 12 years old and it still remains my favorite system to date. You know, that's understandable. That's back when gaming, you never knew what was next. And to think, this game, 11 years old, my friend. You know it, it still has not lost any of its luster. So here's Zmaro Trick's retro review of Majora's Mask. Hello everybody, ZMartrix here, and today I'm going to be doing a review for Fusion Media Network of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This game is an amazing game, outstanding in every freaking field. First off, boss fights. The boss fights in this game are great, and the best part about the boss fights in this game are the fact that you can go back and redo them, which is something I think only this game does whenever it comes to Zelda. I think this is the only Zelda title there is that without starting the game over, technically, you can go back and fight all the bosses. Now graphics in this game are outstanding, uh, for its time anyway. For the Nintendo 64, this game really pushed the graphics engine to its limits, using some motion blur, some fun effects, just this, this game is amazing. Now. I believe the three categories I'm rating this thing on, on are graphics, sound, and gameplay. So let's start off with graphics. As I was just saying, the graphics for this game really push Nintendo 64 to its limits and are amazing. So for graphics, I'm going to give this game a 10 out of 10 trophies. Rightfully deserved. Sound, this game, I have to be dead honest. There's no real theme in this game that ever completely stood out at me as getting stuck in my head every all the time. But it's not terrible. It's like nothing's in this game is like ear rape, like, oh gosh, that's terrible. This the sound overall sound quality of this game, it's good. I like it. I'm gonna give it about a seven. Let's go with seven. So seven trophies out of ten. Now gameplay. Oh, my goodness, puzzles galore, a wide variety of items and tools to use, and the masks is the best part. You can be one of three you can be one of three different characters throughout this game. All a link, but in different forms. There's Goron, Deku, Zora, and in boss fights there's Fierce Deity. But anyway. This game's gameplay is so great. Uh, there's not a single moment in this game where I said, wow, I'm bored. Unlike, and that's really an achievement for me. I'm ADD, so if this game, there's not one point where I said I'm bored, it's pretty intense. So, gameplay, 10 out of 10. So let's recap. Graphics, a pure 10 out of 10 trophies. Sound, 7 out of 10 trophies. And gameplay, 10 out of 10 trophies. This game, overall, is getting a pure 9 out of 10 trophies. This is one of those games you should go and pick up. There's no doubt about it. Even if you can't get the actual Nintendo 64 with all of the controllers and the Game Park expansion and all that other stuff, at least get it on an emulator and try and get it to work. This game is definitely worth the play. And, you know, coming off of the high that was Ocarina of Time, which still remains my favorite game to date, this game, at times, I have to tell you, can be a complete pain in the ass for all the stuff you had to do to get to the masks, to collect all the masks, but it was still a fun game. Here's a $10,000 question. How was the online gameplay? What online gameplay? Exactly. Back then, you could play a game and buy a game and actually feel there's a reason for spending that amount of money on a game because Game developers actually put time and money into creating something that you could actually play through with a campaign mode. It didn't last three hours and then have the same online BS from game to game oh. to game where you're chasing around and getting knifed and stabbed and sniped. 
Josh, do not even get me going about the status of online play, because half the games these days, the servers are complete dog shit, the hit detection is awful, and you spend more time being pissed off at the game than you do actually enjoying the game. You're right, you, you spend $60 to just play thing. online now. Look at this thing, you could run this over with a dump truck and still work. Back when gaming was innocent, ladies and gentlemen. Amen to that, brother. That wraps it up for this episode of the Fusion Media Hub. Thank you again to Zmaro Tricks for his excellent review of Majora's Mask. We'll see you next time.